Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, I'm Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Morgan Hayes. She's the Assistant Extension Professor with the University of Kentucky Biosystems and Ag Engineering. Good morning. Good morning. Now today we're going to talk a little bit about cattle handling, and you have a system that you're going to kind of explain to us that would be really relevant on a lot of our farms. Sure. It's called the Bud Box. It's a system that was developed out west with ranches, uh, and it's a system that's uh, designed so that it could be somewhat portable. They could fairly inexpensive one that they could put at a couple different locations on a larger farm in order to be able to handle work animals uh, as needed uh, in a bunch of different places. And I think here in Kentucky it's pretty valuable, especially for uh, backgrounders that are maybe renting some land. Mm -hmm. uh, and they want to have a system to be able to work animals, but they want it to be able to be taken out when they lose a lease on a land. Uh, or someone that has an old tobacco barn. Mm -hmm. uh, it's particularly useful for that. Um, it actually fits really well in one of those types of uh, barns. Okay, so what's special about this system, though? It's portable, it's low cost. cost. Yeah, so exactly how does this work? Uh, so uh, similar to a lot of other designs that are out there, it takes advantage of normal cattle movements mm -hmm. uh, and their behavior. Uh, the difference between this system and a lot of the ones that you'd go out and purchase uh, is that it doesn't have a sweep and it doesn't have quite as many expensive parts in it. Um, it really inherently depends upon you as the farmer or the producer being in the right position so that the cattle move the way that they need to. Okay. Um, do you want to look at the slide? Yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at your slide that you brought because it kind of it kind of lays it out how the bud box system works and kind of what's important there. Yeah, so the bud box uh, originally was designed with a little bit wider uh, sort of spacing on it. And it was designed actually for a, a horseman uh, to be able to move the cattle. So that ranching system, it was a wider system with deeper alleys on it. Uh, but when we, when we moved it to make it work for uh, a farmer on foot, it has a little bit smaller dimensions. The uh, width of the alley is about 10 foot, maybe 12 foot wide, uh, and the depth of that alley that you're turning the animals in is no more than 20 feet. Okay. Uh, that's one of the reasons it fits so well in the bents in a tobacco barn. Yeah, absolutely. So. Now you also brought along kind of a visual example because if Correct. you couldn't, you know, if you couldn't see the dynamic of how you were supposed to move cattle with that slide, you kind of brought this along to kind mm -hmm. of give us a demonstration of how the cattle would move through this system. Sure. So if I'm the farmer and I come up and I bring all my cattle in my cattle are naturally going to walk away from me. So they're going to walk into the system. Uh -huh. So our farmer's going to follow him into the system. And really, there's one gate in the system. And it closes like this. Hopefully, the farmer's on this side of yes. it when he pulls it close. <laughs> uh, and once it locks into position, the cattle really are going to tr still try to avoid the farmer. So they're going to come to the end of this pen. And as that farmer walks out on this side, uh -huh. uh, the side closest to where the catch is, uh, the cattle will naturally turn, turn. Mm -hmm. and come back along this gate and try and escape out. Okay. Uh, so the farmer really only has to walk about halfway down, about 10 feet down, uh, and then he can kind of push those cattle into this alley. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you had a portable chute, you could just load a chute at the end. If you're just trying to load animals in and out, like you're feeding and they're going out after two months, uh, this system's ideal for that as well, because you could just back a truck right up to the front. Yeah, and so this, you can do this just with several panels, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. You could do this with panels, and if you wanted a little more security, you could use some metal fence posts. You don't have to go all the way in with wood posts every eight feet or anything more significant than that. Um, the system's really designed to be pretty flexible, mm -hmm. uh, and the cattle move pretty comfortably in the system. Uh, the keys with this system is to not try and throw 30 animals in and push them all at once. It's really designed for maybe three or four cows at a time. Any more than that will congest the system and there will be challenges with getting them to move naturally through it. Absolutely. And you know, we've had a lot of cattle handling facilities and systems put in mm -hmm. to farms through the Kentucky Ag Development Funds. Yes. But still, there's a lot of times where, you know, you might have a backfield where cattle are grazing. You might need to get a few up and work them. This would be kind of ideal for that. Absolutely. Yeah. This is, this is really an ideal system for someone that needs flexibility in the system. Mm -hmm. uh, someone that needs to be able to move parts of the system. Uh, some of the systems that are designed to be portable are extremely expensive. This would be a more cost-effective way to potentially do that. Uh, and a lot of people have some panels laying around on their farms mm -hmm. that they've used for something else in the past. Uh, this would be an opportunity to use them uh, 
fairly inexpensively to absolutely put yeah and, in and place. the local cattlemen's association actually have panels that people can rent out and utilize yep. and so if there was something that you might want to set up there and they have the shoot and the scales as well so what a great opportunity to be able to kind of set something up so you can still manage exactly. the herd and do things that you need so Morgan I certainly appreciate the information and for the demonstration this morning moving these cattle through this bud box type system if you have questions make sure to contact your local extension office and we'd be happy to help thanks for watching and have a great day if you have questions about today's topic please call the warren county extension office at the number on your screen thanks for watching and have a great day